All right, Teresa, thank you. 732, let's talk a little more about that huge sinkhole they found yesterday on Route 4 in Farmington, a problem now and a problem unfortunately for a good part of this day as well. That's right. The busy road between I-84 and South Road was shut down yesterday. All of this before the evening commute. Still a mess out there this morning. Let's check in with News 8's Mark Robbins. Mark, how's the progress going out there to get this repaired? Well, going pretty well, Ann and Chris. Good morning. Uh, the progress behind me here, uh, going pretty well. Let me step away and let you see uh, a sinkhole, a big one, folks, about 40 feet long, 10 feet deep, at its widest part, probably about 15 to 18 feet wide, and they have been working all through the night. 3 o'clock is the target time for which they think everything will be done, and they'll be able to reopen the road. It is more, of course, than just filling in a hole with dirt. You have to put apparatus in there and get some support for the street and then of course you're going to have to retar everything but things have gone on well. The weather has cooperated. That has been a big plus for this crew in the overnight hours without uh, real cold temperatures and of course no rain to this point so that has really helped the progress and boy when they found it yesterday around four o'clock in the afternoon they were surprised with uh, how severe it was, there wasn't more damage and maybe some more injury and destruction. I was a little scared, to be honest with you. I mean, as soon as I saw the hole, I, I came up, told the cops, close the road immediately. All right, right now, four, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that is the target time. Now, the Yukon Medical Center is really affected by this, not only just the morning rush hour traffic. If you have to come to the Yukon Medical Center, you're going to have to go through on the West Hartford side, the street and the Yukon Medical Center behind me and to my right. You can't get there through this part of Route 4. You're going to have to go through on the West Hartford side. Ambulances have already been rerouted starting yesterday. Reporting live in Farmington, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.